Hi friends, Paul here. In continuation with my art video series, today we're looking at the illustrations of Francis Lee Jacques, who lived from 1887 to 1969. Jacques, a Minnesota native, was very renowned as a New York City-based diorama uh, museum backgrounds painter. Here I'm just going to show a, a Google screenshot of his extensive diorama work with the Museum of Natural History. His wife, uh, Florence Jacques, authored several books which her husband, Francis Lee, illustrated. Today I'm going to be showing some examples from Canoe Country, published in 1938, and this is the Jacques' uh, most famous book, most famous uh, book, and the images and the illustrations of Francis Lee in this book are amazing. Um, I just did a previous video on the artwork of Henry Bugby Kane, and you're going to see some real um, similarities here, including look at the uh, that's hemlock or cedar leaf with a kingfisher on there. This is from 1938. I, I would imagine Henry Bugby Kane knew of. Jacques' work, just really beautiful. Look at the reflections in the water. Um, in closer inspection here, I believe this is what's known as scratchboard. Um, Jacques was a scratchboard artist, and I'm getting that impression. Definitely look more like scratchboard than they do uh, pen and ink, as they would be in the case of Bugby's Bugby Kane's work. There's a snowy egret an osprey carrying a fish. So check out the video on Henry Bugby Kane because the similarities here, this is one of my favorite plates from this book. Look at the water coming up around the stern of that canoe. If you've canoed, you know what that feels like um, when a swell of water rises up against your stern and thrusts the bow of that canoe forward. And then look at the wave in front of the bow. <laughs> There's somebody who spent time on the water and understood what that feels like. And for sure, Jacques spent many of his years on the water in the boundary waters of northern Minnesota. One of my favorite images from this book, Canoe Country. Look at this. The, the fish um, under the surface of the water with the lily pads floating up top. And those fish are just suspended but they don't look frozen or fake. I mean, they really look like they're being suspended naturally in invisible water. What a great illustration. And the porcupine cruising through the water. In my previous video on Bugby Kane, you can see he did a, an image of a beaver cruising through the water with a stick in its mouth. Uh, very uncanny. I, I would imagine that these artists knew of each other. And uh, indeed, the uh, Jacques Pair um, also did another book called Canadian Spring, which came out in 1947, which was um, exactly the date that Cache Lake Country uh, by Drow John Rollins came out. I'll also show you an image from this Jacques book, The Geese Fly High published in 1939, so a year after Canoe Country that we just looked at. But check out the nice cumulus clouds and the geese. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, it's a lot of fun reviewing these books. Please post your comments below if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends who are into book illustration. And have a great day.